how to play volleyball against 99% of possible opponents and be successful? This is the question I was looking for and answer to as a professional player when I played in the world championships against the best teams in the world. Sure, I and our national team didn't always win, but I knew what it took to compete with the best teams in the world. How could you play against almost any opponent and at least play a balanced game? I am sure you are tempted just by the thought of being able to play even with better teams. Many of you dream of playing your dream volleyball one day. Many of you want to play just a little bit better than your op competition opponent that you are losing to and be better than them. I always went into every match wanting to win. I didn't want to leave the match defeated. I didn't want to tell myself that I should have done this and that in the past to play better. After the game, a lot of players and coaches are smart and blame the team for mistakes, uh, what ifs. But we don't play on the past, uh, we learn from the past, we play for the present and for the future. And uh, you hold your future and the opportunity to play against 99% of the teams in your hands. Every day you can move on and one day win the Olympics. But let's get to the way how to achieve that. When you play a match, uh, you are always up against an opponent. Uh, on one side of the net is your team, on the other side is your opponent. We always play for the points that the opponent or your teams gets. And how do you beat the opponent? The simple answer is uh, to play better volleyball. But what does it uh, mean to play better volleyball? What does it uh, mean to play uh, better volleyball for a beginner, for an advanced or a professional player? I think playing volleyball from a broader perspective actually means uh, our volleyball capacity. Our capacity that we need in order to play volleyball and to beat our opponents. Let me give you an example of amateur volleyball first. On the one hand, uh, there is the opponent and his ability and capacity to play volleyball. When we talk about the overall capacity of an amateur player and team, it consists of uh, several pillars. One of them is uh, basic technical skills. Amateurs don't yet have a high level of individual or team skills. Physical skills, uh, which greatly influence our performance, tend to be rather average or below average among amateurs, and I don't mean that in a negative way. And then uh, there are the mistakes that an amateur team makes. Mistakes are prevalent in amateur volleyball, which uh, is why in my scheme they take up uh, most of the opponent's volleyball capacity below the plus axis and thus hurt the overall capacity of the team. On the other side is our amateur team. If our volleyball capacity is smaller, we can expect to underperform and lose. It will depend on all parts of our volleyball capacity. What is the level and uh, quality of our volleyball skills? How are we in terms of fitness? What about our mistakes? If we want to beat our amateur opponents, uh, our volleyball capacity must be higher or at least as high. And of course, the greater the difference, the better our chances of uh, success in the long run. But most of you will be interested in how to beat teams playing uh, good volleyball, how to beat uh, players who have an advanced level of volleyball, and also how to beat the top teams, uh, which I'll get uh, to in a moment. Here again is a battle of our volleyball capacities. The opponent already has a very good uh, technique. Uh, physically, he is also in a good shape. We can expect him to put uh, pressure on his serve with some hard jump serves. Uh, he will be dangerous on offense. His play in the field and on the block will not be bad. Just his technical and physical skills uh, will already be very solid. Our opponent uh, will already be well prepared uh, tactically. Not only will he know what kind of volleyball they want to play, but they will also have an idea of uh, what tactics to play against our team. Where to serve, who is our weapon on attack and how to defend him. The location of uh, the match will also play into his uh, volleyball capacity. If he plays in his home gym, he has an advantage because it's uh, always better to play in a home environment. Also, this opponent will no longer make a large number of uh, unforced errors that would significantly reduce his uh, volleyball capacity. Here is how we answer that. Uh, we need to have a higher volleyball capacity to beat this skilled opponent. We need to play well as a team. Uh, we can serve easy serves. Uh, we can just attack in one direction and play stereotypically. Every attacker must be able to attack uh, several types of hits. Uh, we can have a 
weakness on the reception. We can play 50% defense in the field. To beat them, our level of technical levels should be at least equal to theirs. As for our physical readiness, we should jump similarly high as our opponent, giving the same hard hits on serve or on attack. We have to be ready to play at the same level for over two hours so that even in the tiebreak we have enough strength to win this match. Like our opponent, we can play all or nothing volleyball. We must have a plan in mind to minimize our opponent's strengths and make the most of our strengths. Also, if we are playing away, we need to acclimate quickly to our opponent's hall, perhaps arranging a light practice the day before the match, similar to what professional teams are doing so that uh, playing away is not a negative uh, for us. And how do we beat 99% of the opponent from the top teams? If we play a top opponent, uh, we have to expect their volleyball capacity to be at a very high level. If we look at their technical ability, not only do the basic elements of a volleyball technique uh, that I described already come into play, but everything is already at a very high level. Technically, they will be advanced players, uh, the setter, the blockers, uh, outside hitters and opposites and Libero will be masters of their craft. The team will run like a Swiss watch. Physically, they will be in great shape, uh, working out at least twice a week in a weight room to develop dynamics and strength. The tactical preparation for a top team is uh, already prepared by a professional uh, statistician who serves a lot of data to the coaches who then uh, together present uh, comprehensive uh, material to their players who are able to bring these uh, tactical instructions into the game. The place of the match still plays a role. It's uh, still true that uh, it's harder to play away at the opponent. The support of the spectators play a bigger role in the top volleyball. I experienced this myself at the World Championships, where the other team had uh, thousands of uh, people cheering for them it puts uh, extra pressure on you, which uh, some players don't play well under. If you have uh, 5,000 spectators uh, chanting in your back, like in the Polish uh, Plus Liga, uh, that's a big help. And unforced errors play almost no role anymore because uh, simple and unforced mistakes professional teams uh, don't make, uh, or they make one or two mistakes uh, uh, per game. A team that uh, wants to fade this uh, huge volleyball capacity has to be ready for this top team. The volleyball capacity of an advanced team is not enough. Uh, you need uh, the volleyball capacity of a top team. To be similarly prepared uh, for the confrontation, also play top volleyball and your overall volleyball capacity cannot be lower if you want to consider winning. If you think ahead like this, uh, if you think about your volleyball future, think about your volleyball capacity, maybe even draw it, so you will have a clear picture of uh, where you are, what opponent are you ready to face today and where you want to get and uh, what kind of volleyball you want to play. And my online volleyball courses can help you in increasing your volleyball capacity. For example, 120 wall drills will help you significantly improve your basic volleyball skills up to three times faster or with the how to hit harder course, uh, you can increase your power by up to 50% in the eight weeks. Either way, with uh, this video, I believe I've made you a little bit more aware of how volleyball is a complex sport and uh, what you need to beat 99% of your opponents. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.